bonus with face, pat, and tiz. In film uh, news or whatever, Brian Michael Cooper, the steam writer that who uh, penned screenplays for um, New Jack City, Above the Rim, and Sugar Hill. He's working on new movies, and on Saturday, he took to Twitter and said he's working on a prequel to his 1991 crack cocaine lace classic, New Jack City, the diary of Nino Brown, the monster that Reagan, uh, the monster Reagan created. It's a prequel. Mm. It's a work in progress. So he just released that out. I guess he's just putting together the screenplay. This was uh, brought out on Revolt TV. So. I know you said earlier that you get tired of these re reboots and everything. So I wanted to see how you feel about this because this I'm one is actually fan, from- I, and I could be stinging from you know I just watched that new Ghostbusters and that's got me pissed off. So I could be stinging from that, but man, they can leave my childhood movies alone at this point. <laughs> keep, keep building on this MCU shit. Build your own new world that I ain't never seen before. Off your, own. but like, man, leave that shit alone. Everything don't need to be remade. Yeah, I haven't got everything. Into the don't need stuff. a prequel. Everything don't need a sequel. Everything don't need a universe. Like some shit was just a good movie, man. Just leave it as a good movie. Mm. It's all right. Like I don't need the coolie high universe, and I don't need you <laughs> know coaches. They're folded, oh, like they're folded, but like I don't need all that, man. Just give me the some shit is just a classic. Something new. It was really good <laughs> for its time. It, it was great for what it did. It don't, it stands alone as greatness. We can leave it alone. Everything don't need a a, a, a extra. I understand. You know what I mean? Some shit is just a good steak. You ain't got to put no sauce on it. You ain't got to put no extra yeah. shit. The salt, pepper, and the garlic butter is enough, and you just cut into that bitch and eat it. Like, <sighs> some shit is classical. You just can't bother, man. Yeah, like, you don't got to mess with anything. Mm-hmm. Everything don't need a prequel or a sequel. Like, I love New Jack City as a movie, as a standalone classic. It <clears throat> has so much relevance to that time and, like, it, it, it's a very it's a time thing you don't want to go back and do that now because now people ain't like what made that movie so crazy is it came out in the era it represented like that's what make a mm-hmm. lot of shit classic like you go back and try to recreate it outside of that era it don't feel the same because it, yeah. ain't, it ain't that same vibe no more <clears throat> the vibe has changed and some and some shit needs to stay where it at so it can stay up on the pedestal when you start remaking it and recreating it and giving it a sequel and a prequel and a, a, a part four and all this, like you start to diminish the actual value of the original thing. Yeah. And I, I, just, I just like to see some things from my child. Like, I don't want another boy <clears throat> in the hood. I don't want another minister society. Juice was fine by itself to me. I don't need to know what happened the next day after they scraped up Bishop and they didn't find his body and now he might be <clears throat> like, come on, man, stop. <laughs> Stop, I don't need this shit. Like you just fucking up a bunch of good shit just oh, for the sake of a buck because you're not creative enough to come up with your own shit. Well, pull Tarantino ass out of the crate because he seemed to come out with something fresh every time. Let this kid James Samuels get a run because he coming up with some new shit. I don't need people keep creating shit off of what I already had in my childhood. The Marvel mm-hmm. Cinematic Universe is only special because I watched it grow from the first movie when they didn't know it was going to be universe, they actually had to build and like put that shit together. But everything don't need to go back and retroactively have something. Like mm. I get shit like a Mad Max or a Halloween because it's already like a thousand of them shits. Like, I love Mad Max. It, it's already a known <laughs> universe and world to build from. But New Jack City, man, if it ain't have a sequel back in 94, Mm-hmm. Nino got out, then I don't need it now. Like it, it, it was great. Nino dead. Rock a bad baby. And let, it, let it live, man. Let it be. Let it breathe and live where oh, it's at. It's supposed to be him before all that stuff. I don't want to see that. And then I mean, it was. It's made. Who asked for that? Who asked for that? Made. You be on the internet all the time, Pat. You run the social media. Has it been a clamoring before <laughs> this dude said this? For people begging for, I sure was wondering what Nino was doing. No, before he, Nino. before they pulled up in that jeep, what was Nino at? What they were Still doing? Yeah, shit. 
Don't nobody <clears throat> care. The movie was that great because it was that great then. I don't want to know nothing else now. Because now I don't care no more. Like, I, it, it, that time has passed. I don't need to see a nigga with a beep or beep bop. The only reason BMF is good because it's a story I've never seen on film. I've read the yeah. book, but I've never seen this laid out on film. Wu-Tang, it, like, if you're telling a biopic, it's different. You're telling the story of a person that nobody's ever seen on film. But I don't need you to redo no biopic either. I don't need no sequel or prequel to a biopic. Oh, the lost years of Etta James. No, fuck this shit. Leave shit alone. Let classics be classics and be creative and make some new. But I digress. I 